Hello, I'm Juliette Sali. In this week's IG Macro Intelligence, we take a look at the outlook for liquefied natural gas amid the recent worker strikes in Western Australia. Chevron has been working to meet LNG exports amid workers' strikes at two of its key projects in Western Australia. Unions started a ban on tanker loadings this month, and separately a technical fault further hampered production at the Wheatstone project. The two plants in Western Australia account for around 5% of global LNG supply, and strike action has added to uncertainty over global reserves. So why are the workers striking? Well, workers have been partially downing tools after talks aimed at resolving disputes over pay and conditions faltered. The Australian Offshore Alliance described Chevron's bargaining attempts as, quote, the most inept effort of any employer the union has dealt with in the past five years. For its part, the energy giant has asked the Fair Work Commission to intervene in a bid to cancel the strikes. The strike action is adding to concerns about reserves, particularly as we head into the Northern Hemisphere winter. Kashul Ramesh of Rasted Energy in Singapore told Ausbiz volatility will continue until a resolution is reached and the strike action is a reminder that the gas market is trading on an unstable equilibrium. However, analysts say compared to last year, major markets have comfortable storage with European reserves around 92% capacity and additional reserves in Japan and South Africa. Korea. And Bloomberg NEF says competition between Northwest Europe and North Asia for liquefied natural gas is set to be less this winter, contrasting last year's fears of a supply shortage, while rising appetite for LNG in mainland China is unlikely to raise spot purchases due to high contract levels. And that is your IG Macro Intelligence for today. We'll see you next week.